How are we doing guys? Sam and Jimmy with this week's fishing report for you guys. It is officially here. The big rockfish season has opened up. They're catching a few of the big fish, but if you want to go out there and just catch some fish, I know they're doing pretty well just on your catch and release. So you've yeah. heard some things. Yeah, kind of normal spots, bloody point, love point, people catching some smaller, kind of those summer class fish. Nothing too crazy going around in our area, but definitely good numbers of fish if you kind of know where to find them. If you can get on top of those schools and stay on top, it seems like you'll do pretty good. But besides that... Yeah, I mean, if you still want to shout out the big fish, there definitely are a few left in the bay, uh, but you're going to want to start heading south. Most of those fish are headed south. So if you're leaving out of Sandy Point, if you can get down towards Chesapeake Beach, make that run, you probably have a pretty good shot, or even at the mouth of the chop tank is probably the most fish I've heard yeah. caught. So if you're willing to make the run, there's still big fish to be caught. We're trolling our big baits this time of the year, 9-inch tandem rigs, big um, umbrella rigs with a 9-inch hook bait behind them. Typically, we're trying to keep those baits in the first 15% of the water column this time of the year. With that warmer water up there, those where those fish are traveling. Um, so white perch are starting to fizzle into the creek yeah. slowly. Hearing a little bit more about them. Nothing too hot and heavy. They're not really in their normal summer haunts yet, but they're starting to show up kind of mouth of the rivers, mouth of those creeks. So keep checking. It'll probably be another two, three weeks, and you'll be back to your normal summer perch fishing. Um, same thing with the uh, speckled trout down south. Some guys are kind of starting to see them show up. Nothing too crazy yet, but they are starting to kind of come in too. Uh, you heard anything about snakeheads? Uh, yes, yeah, snakehead fishing is pretty good from what I hear right now. We have that temperature that we want. We've had a few cold days, but um, yeah. after this cold spell, I know it's supposed to start warming up again. That's the time to get out there. Stay away from your big topwater noisy baits right now. Fish your more subsurface baits, paddle tails, inline spinners, things like that, and you'll have a pretty good shot out there. As far as areas, the Transquake in, the Chickamacomico, all your classic areas. If you want a shot on a western shore snakehead, this is the time to do it. They don't have all that pressure yet, and we know these fish on the, this side are a little bit smarter for whatever reason. This is the time to do it. There's really nobody out in those creeks, so if you can see them, you can throw to them and catch a few. I've heard of a few caught in the Severn, the upper part of the Severn, so this is the time to do it on the west side, guys. Yeah, definitely. Um, Lastly, too, we got some largemouth. Yeah, yeah. Nothing too crazy going on. Starting to kind of summer moved up. Some are off beds, some are on beds, so it's kind of that in-between period. You're probably going to walk the bank and see a couple, but post-spawn bite really hasn't hit yet they're just kind of hanging out on beds and around that area as far as crabbing goes i know some people are starting to catch a few more so in the southern parts of the state here uh, i know some folks down at bloody point have been doing well on the traps Right now is a really good time to use traps this time of the year, opposed to the trout line. With that colder water, they tend not to hold on as long coming up on that trout line. Save that till about mid to late May, but traps right now, this is the time to use those. Uh, another place I've heard is the South River, a few of them and some of the deeper holes. You're still in pretty deep water right now yeah. for the guys. I've heard 15 to 20 feet for your crabbing. Yep. I think that just about fixes it up for you guys. Well, good luck out there and look forward to seeing you next week.